Hi everyone, good afternoon or evening. Welcome back to the Okadon channel for a new video today. Uh, sorry, um, I didn't edit videos for quite some time. Totally caught up with work. And for the 270 of you who saw the previous video that I deleted, uh, maybe I'm subjected to pareidolia and I'm seeing things that don't exist. But uh, it happens, it's research, 50 videos. I had to remove two so far, so that's a 4% rate of failure. That's, I'm not gonna beat myself too hard, this is research. So I think it's fair when you find something that's not there to remove it from the video. It's work in progress as you know it on this channel. Some more observation on the Rochefoucauld Grail. Um, I work from home and I printed on large poster style those miniatures, so I've got plenty of time to look at them. And some uh, something came up again with those miniatures. You know the story about the Rochefoucauld Grail. And uh, I had a video earlier where I... Uh, when I first discovered those picture, I recognize here on the bottom left corner, probably the vault mechanism, which I explained in the video. To me, this 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 painting is mind blasting. There's so much information into it, and I wanted to revisit some part of it with you today. And um, so this is Gawain in battle. What um, somebody told me is that the green box here was actually the shield of the person who is being trampled by the horses and is defeated and his arm is cut. Um, the thing I find strange about this is the color code. So the red knight has got red shield, the blue and white striped knife has got a blue and white little shield on top at the shoulder. We don't see his main shield. So the color match between the shields and the cloth, except for this one, his clothes are in brown, his first shield on the left is brown, and here uh, his supposed shield in green uh, doesn't match the color. So the first thing that, that was wrong to my eyes with that. Uh, let's pay attention again to this tank. Why do I say it's a tank? Um, here you can see at this place that you have the corner of the tank and the author on purpose, maybe it's even more visible on the first one. That's your level of liquid. The thing behind it is, is it's not that you lost paint by scratching. You can see the golden leaves through the transparency of the tank they wanted to draw here. So that's another indication. This is a liquid. This is some fluid uh, in greenish. And you find that greenish color on another picture I detailed earlier in another video, which is kind of coded for being the vault. Now, another reason why it is not the shield of the person uh, who's down is that I measured uh, the uh, shield size. Now, here it's obvious where you start. You would start from here and your distance would go, would go until where? Where you have the tree here. You can still see the tree right here and going up there on top. So that's the tree. So probably your vault mechanism seem to stop somewhere like this. So I took those distances, I measured them. Against in orange here, you have the uh, other red shield. And I reproduce here on the right hand side exactly by just sliding those lines and finally showing that the distances are really really different how much we got there if that's half that's a quarter um you almost have 30 uh maybe 20 percent 20 percent longer so i really don't think it's a shield though it could appear like one that's interesting let's carry on our journey um another thing when I saw this part of the mechanism that's thrown in the painting, I originally thought that I, I said on the first video that this was the hump, but now I don't think it's the hump anymore. It's supposed to be a lens. It's supposed to be the lens of that knight that is being trampled. But look at look at the tip of the, 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 the lens. That's not a lens. You wouldn't kill anybody with this. 
That reminds me of something else that I saw and we saw in a former video. If we take back the scrolls of Anteora schematics, the, the drawing of what is supposed to be underneath the island, you get the, the, the backwash valve, the back valve here that let the water escape from the vault. And if you open that trapdoor F, let the water exit through an underneath cave. And probably that tunnel here is probably what we see here. And, and the tunnel is, uh, is underneath. Again, this is a representation with horses, so you can't ask too much to the drawing. But that shape here look, looked a lot like this shape here. What, what could it be? What could it be? Uh, you're trying to put some th this apparatus down, of course, through a screw. You can see the screw here quite well, actually. Um, and you're trying to plug that water outlet uh, by putting this in this position. So you needed to make it waterproof at the edges. And I had a discussion with my dad some six months ago or a year ago about how in the Middle Ages could they manage waterproofing. And he explained me that leather, wet leather, is waterproof, wet leather. And on top of that, it's uh, you can shape it. So it's maybe it is uh, layers of leather, one on top of the other, making um, um, probably a pole with layers of one after the other, layers of, uh, of leather like this. And, and then you would tie it down at the bottom with some rope or something like that. That's what I think is showed here. That's the same kind of pouch, leather pouch that would uh, plug here the duct. And another thing is this piece here that you can see here, which is definitely, uh, there's a thread. You can see here the thread in black. There's a thread and there's a screw mechanism, which again, there's a thread. And uh, either the shoe of the horse is the kind of a guide uh, it guides the pole because that's a big long shaft so you you need to have it uh, uh, guided during its uh, inside the shaft and uh, that's probably what we see here so that's another co coincidence but I think this is this is the valve that's what it is the valve it's showing you the valve I haven't found out yet if they, they tell you where the valve is um, but we got it from the Xena map so let's carry on our journey with something. Okay, so this one, um, that's a bit mind blasting. Let me change color here. Uh, what color I mean? Okay, perfect, this color. So here, for quite some time now, and I'm gonna do all of this with you, so you, you see I'm not preparing thing. I've had this picture in front of my eyes, and one thing I've been looking for in all the pictures from the miniatures has been the shape of Oak Island. Why don't they draw the bloody shape of the island so we know finally that it is this island? And we're gonna draw something together. Let's have a look. I'm gonna take the shape of that horse and I'm gonna use my pen and draw the contour shape as well as I can with you live. So here I'm gonna go down this line with because this line catch up right there to the top of the neck and here we go and i can see some water here you know that kind of like a, a beach and that could be the contour well guess what i was with this for <coughs> quite a couple of months now I, I i detected this because when i push this backward sent to back and i already the picture of oak island that's what i find let me zoom a little bit for you. I think it's very interesting that the shape works there. But I was like, that's not enough. Um, not just that line. Plus, I know already, we know that the water elevation was lower back in the days, supposedly in 1350 when the manuscript came up. But that's okay because uh, this island is, uh, I read that, that, that the shape of the island continues. Look at the shape of this island, proportionally it's the shape at low tide. Look at this part, it reproduces and mimics the same shape. So it's not, it, probably what they drew at the time was more something like this. 
which was the contour of the island back in the days. That's probably what what we should. But here, I, I can't say if it's, it's, it, it relates or not to the island. Uh, but what I find fascinating is that it does when you keep it as is today. So there's, there's a good probability that if you extend by losing some water, you lose it regularly on the shape of the island and your shape is still valid. It's just you need to make it bigger. So let me push this one back down again. And that is just the shape of this line, which is there. So what I want to do with you is start again, but now do it with several. So let's use this picture and let's carry on. And I found out this this morning. I was working on this this morning. So you see, sometimes it's longer. Let's take a, a red one and carry on what we started to do. So uh, what I want to do here is use this line, carry on, because this is important, I found out. I don't know how you call that piece in English, where you guide the horse with. OK. The guide, maybe it's called. And what else uh, I found interesting? I found interesting another line here, which goes down there. OK, let's change color and do some more. Uh, let's pick red. And red, uh, this shape is interesting. OK, uh, I'm going to use blue again because I also like uh, what is it? I prepared it, of course. I rehearsed before. I'm just losing it now. Uh, this, I think, is part of. Uh, no, sorry, I got it now. It's this one. It's part of the deal. OK, what else can I use? Red, I've got this one. I can use that one. OK. And I can use, let's take another color, like green. I can use this one. OK. And I think that's it. No, I had another one, which was that one. So I'm going to use the blue here. And that was another line. OK. So what do we do with all these lines now? What we're going to do with these lines is we're going to remove this. And this is, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't prepare anything. Huh? I did not prepare anything. I just kept that island shape as it was just two minutes ago when I was drawing the first blue line. I just added them. So the blue line seems to work. And what I find quite interesting is some of the shapes. Um, I think this one I had to twist. But the shapes do match. OK, if, if I can't do it here, OK, this is what I found when I was doing it on my own. So the same with other colors. You'll see exactly the same. And that's what it gives. I'm sorry I can't reproduce right away uh, because I lost where all those lines were. But believe me, this is what it is. So I took the same line system as I just do with you. I just changed color. Now the tail is green and etc. And when I overlay them, this is what I find. So it's not just overlay. As you saw, some lines come naturally, all the blue ones, uh, these ones, the blue, come naturally on the shape. And the other ones, this red, this red, and this green, and this blue, or this blue and this green, they come uh, in other color when I do the first map. But these come from the drawing. That blue line here, which is very interesting because it just flirts with the trump of the elephant, uh, that blue line is this line here. That's the uh, right back leg of the horse. That shape here, when you turn it, is the shape of, uh, is it Jordan Cove? I never know how you call that point. And uh, very interesting also, the uh, when I did the first cut with you, those blue lines. Look at those blue lines. I think these. Uh, that's not a good color to work with. Let's do, yeah, uh, yeah. I believe these, this line, uh, I am not lucky with the colors. Huh? Let's uh, take this one. Okay. These lines here, this line here, shows the island, the first island, and this line here shows the second island, 
and you see they build the swamp. Uh, probably in 1400, 1350, the swamp and the land here was not as established as today. And, and you can see, you would definitely know there were two islands. And I, I think that's what they drew there. And the proportion are just so perfect that it just comes right here, uh, flirting with the, the shoreline. Now, again, uh, at the time they drew this, the uh, outline of the uh, Oak Island was probably the same, but the water uh, was back away. So the island was bigger. So that just means that if you reduce your island size, that is probably what the island looked like back in the days when they uh, when they went on it. It went further than the uh, the current uh, island. That's probably what. So that's that's pretty interesting. I I am still amazed by this uh, Rochefoucauld Grail miniatures and how they talk about our story. And Rochefoucauld surprisingly comes everywhere. He's on the Zina Alpens map. That's Francois. And now I start to think it may be not Francois and there's a code because it's an Alexandrine and there is a Alexandre Francois is one of the member of the Rochefoucauld family. So I've been investigating this and um, I didn't know, but it was revealed by uh, the show that the Duc d'Anville who went to this expedition with 97 ships uh, was a Rochefoucauld. He was a Jean-Baptiste Rochefoucauld from the same line of family. I think the Rochefoucauld are popping up way too many times in this story. Um, that's very, very interesting. So here they are now, side by side, what you find with the color codes when you just contour the shape of those two horses. Actually three, because I also use, here on the left, I used uh, this as a shore as well. I believe that the ear here, which is the exit flow of water, natural one, um, is what Michael saw in one of his videos showing that around this place, somewhere around here, you could see ice melting faster than the ice around in winter. There's a, there's a Google Earth picture of this. And uh, I believe that's what's represented here. Just like what's represented here is the inlet of water from the train. And of course, we have the oak tree. Um, there are two oak trees here. In most of the pictures of the graph, there are two oak trees. The left one is very often represented with uh, those uh, sections here. And the right one is very often represented with vertical lines, like, um, like either we're talking about two islands, which I doubt, even though I found another Oak Island in the Bay of Fundy. Uh, and I was impressed that there are two islands only 70 miles away or 100 miles away. Uh, there are both Oak Islands. So are they talking about two islands? Are they talking about our Oak Island, which used to be two islands? I favor that one now. But what I believe now is that the marker for the hole under the trapdoor allowing you to get to this part of the mechanism uh, was also hidden under an oak tree, just like the money pit was hidden under an oak tree. There was another oak tree. Um, this one, as you see, is truncated, just like the legend says it was. I believe there was another one and maybe a particular type of oak tree that on the on the uh, uh, the main uh, I don't know you call it the trunk I think in English uh, there were there are some stripes like this on one oak tree I don't know but I found it interesting all right that's it for today that was short but uh, just to let you know everything's fine on my side I've not been kidnapped <laughs> I'm just working a lot for the company I'm working with way uh way a lot a lot 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 and um we'll talk to you soon with michael something's cooking i can't tell you more but something's cooking you'll have news this week everybody takes care always a pleasure i miss you all and um talk to you soon thank you bye bye